Good and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the physical Vegito unit and basically just how good he is after his Extreme Z Awakening. Now this is the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito and he came out a while back on the global and JP side. I believe he was 3 years ago for the hero celebration so i believe he was 2020 he was pretty cool when he came out he was actually still pretty decent back then he was really really quite solid and he brought the crossover category which was much 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 appreciated nowadays he still looks really really good he has attack and defense a multiplicator passive with 60 percent attack and defense when attacking he greatly raises defense on the super he gains damage reduction based on how many giant and power or crossover category characters on the team. Please remember he takes from the highest amount. So if you have 3 giant and power and 2 crossover, you will only have 15% damage reduction, not 25% damage reduction. In terms of Link set, he's got things like Saiyan Raw, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, and just in general has a very strong SS4 giant and power style Link set. He is a support for the giant a power and the crossover categories, which is really, really good. And overall, he's just quite a solid unit. I would say he's much, much, much improved with his EZA. And I think he's really solid. He also has a high chance of nullifying enemy super attack and countering. Although this feels more like a rarity than anything else. The big thing with Vegito is how strong can he be at the start of turn? So 200, 240k defense. This is pretty solid. Remember he has, depending on your team, anywhere between 20 to 30% damage reduction. He has a multiplicator to passive, so he has 60% attack and defense when attacking. This will apply to his baseline. And then he also raises defense on the super for one turn. So he's pretty stout defensively. And considering the AGL Vegito and him link up really really well obviously you want to consider running them both now the physical vegeto can sit in the second slot and just continue supporting the agl vegeto and both of them just do some really insane numbers i think physical vegeto starts with like 240k defense very easy can get over the 400 450k mark even at 55 percent and also alongside that as well um you know provide support Really, really just good glue-like mechanism, like a good glue-like unit, has nullification, and he, you know, just really good stuff. Can check out 9, 10, 10 half million attack stats, and yeah, just in general is really solid. Uh, I really, really like just how good Physical Vegito has become, and I think overall he's just a great, you know, great unit now. I think he can handle a lot of the meta content, especially after super. He's not going to be able to tank supers. Uh, I think you'd have to get very, very, very lucky and have type advantage. I think overall he's just very, very good. And I think he's a really solid unit. And yeah, uh, ultimately at the end of the day, a really good easy air. Kind of just meshes really, really well uh, with the you know, rest of his team now he is a sport he's much much better defensively and he's way better offensively so yeah really good stuff i think for me the only real issue with Fujito is realistically that you know in terms of build in terms of like hidden potential build he's kind of a unit that craves a bit of everything so you want to give him a little bit of crit because he does hit good attack stats but you also kind of want to give him additional because you do want the double greatly raised defense uh, for his you know kind of defense that he has afterwards when he can get two super attacks he's able to tank currently pretty much every event in the game and so i think overall he looks really solid that way of course the big thing with Fujito is that outside of his you know normal stats and mechanics he also has the ability to nullify and counter abilities or super attacks However, this feels very, very, very selective. 
It's technically a 50% chance, but I have not seen a proc like once since it's easy air. Could just be bad luck, but it is one of those things. In terms of link sets, what you want to focus on is Sand Raw and Super Sand and prepared for battle, and then you can kind of just focus on the rest as is. You know, I would say for me, like Big Bad Boss, or sorry, Sand Raw, I'm thinking of uh, extreme units. Saiyan Raw is just the most crucial link. So Saiyan Raw, Super Saiyan, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, I think Power Buster by God and you know all of those links are very solid for Patara teams. But it's just not necessarily like something you can really mesh them with. Remember to have them as full power you need to have those Dragon Ball heroes or crossover units on the team. Otherwise he's just not going to look the same like defensively. You can always afford like one, but like I say, with a lot of heroes units, you're looking at running the full heroes team. It is just one of those things. But yeah, uh, that is basically it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video on physical Vegito. I do apologize, mine is under 55%, but uh, I basically put dupes in them a very long time ago. So yeah, that's uh, basically gonna be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, as always, take care, stay safe, and thank you guys for watching. If you need any help, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys. Well, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I think we've basically covered everything we need to. Thanks for watching, and bye.